Well, here I am, temple number two. This one is called Jorvo'u. Yep, still in Gilroy or San Martin, wherever that is. You got a little nice uh, gazebo pagoda thing going on here. Pretty peaceful. Parents came in here before. Said that they serve tea for him. Nice Buddha face, statue. Yeah, I mean, I can read Vietnamese, but not when it's written like that. I mean, it looks fancy, but it's kind of hard to read sometimes. But my mom told me it means like have a clean soul the inside and don't have a bunch of distractions or evil thoughts or whatnot. Yeah, I think about these temples are pretty uh, naturey and I guess one good thing about today is that it's nice and bright and sunny so you can see everything more clearly. Yeah, unlike this one I mean, well, this one, unlike the other one, is not on a big hill, but it's still nice nonetheless. Like I said, anyone's house can be a temple. Okay, not anyone's house. It has to be a pretty big house. And you also have to uh, have a big backyard, I suppose. The neat thing about this place is that they have these little flat rocks that have quotes on them. I'm not gonna get in too deep about what they all mean. I don't even know what all these mean myself. I gotta stop and really think about it. But they even have some English quotes too. One rock said, uh, just smile. Another said, let it go. Ah uh ha -huh, funny. I didn't know Elsa was Buddhist. Just kidding. The weird thing is, I hear a owl right now. I thought owls come out at night. Thinking about temples, they always have a kitchen. People working in there, cooking out some vegetarian food. And sometimes for certain occasions, or if they have extra, they give you free vegetarian food. And it's pretty good. You just gotta know how to season it. Let's go inside. He is the youngest person at a temple I saw today. Oh yeah, mom told me about this statue. You may not know to uh, take note hang, but him and this guy Tik Tank though they were both friends. He stayed in Vietnam, built Buddhism and temples in Vietnam. Well, Tik Tank he went around the world and spread Buddhism and meditation. That young guy over there they were talking to earlier, he rang the bell for us when we were praying. Though I think he rung it pretty fast because they taught me back in temple and I didn't ring it that fast. But yeah, it's pretty chill, pretty peaceful. Alright, I'm out.